Oh. So what I have here is a quadratic um, that we're going to want to solve by using our AC method. And that's the way I'm going to show you how to do this. So again, solving, remember, we want to find the values of our x when our output, our y value, is going to equal 0. So um, first thing we always want to do is see if we can factor out any terms. And we notice that we cannot factor any terms. And the absolute value of our a is greater than 1, the absolute value, not just the, a, not just the value of a. So therefore, we're going to use, um, in this case, we're going to use the AC method, which is going to start off with the box, or I'm sorry, the diamond. So when using the diamond method, when the absolute value of a is greater than 1, we're not just going to have c up top. We're going to use a times c and then b on the bottom. So we're still going to be multiplying plus. However, now when we find these values, they're not going to be our two factors, p and q, but we're going to have to go one extra step. All right, so the first thing I need to do is do a times c. So negative 2 times negative 3 is going to be a positive 26. And then our b is negative 8. So now what I need to do is determine what two values multiply to give me negative 26, but then add to give me uh, negative 8. So let's just kind of go through some values here. Let's factor out the 26. Hope you guys can see. All right. So if we factor out, eh, I could do it over here. So if I factor out 26 here, all right, we know that 26 times 1. We already know that we could do 13 times 2. And again, I know I could use the positive and the negatives, but for right now, I'm just going to focus on positives. And then obviously, both these values could be negative as well if we needed to. Um, let's see here, 24. So we could look at 3, 8, 7. I'm not getting any of them that work. Hmm. Six, seven. What the fuck? I don't know where it's not factorable. 